Prince William and Mr. Attenborough were cheered by the WTF audience before the royal congratulated him on receiving the World Economic Forum's Crystal Award. William is at the WTF without his wife Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, who was spotted earlier today at the Family Actions Lewisham Center in Forest Hill. Their three children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, who are both school-aged, and Prince Louis, are also understood to have remained in the UK. Kensington Palace said the gathering between the royal and Sir David, 92, will focus on the urgent challenges facing the next generation of environmental leaders. The Duke of Cambridge's visit comes less than 24 hours after Sir David was presented with the coveted Crystal Award for his leadership in environmental stewardship. Accepting the award, Sir David yesterday urged world leaders to come up with practical solutions on the environment. He added, we can create a world with clean air and water unlimited energy and fish stocks that will sustain us well into the future. But to do that, we need a plan. Prince William has long been a keen environmentalist having launched a wildlife crime campaign four years ago to stigmatize buying of ivory and rhino horn. Davos 2019 Live Prince William joins elites at WEF Royal Silk, how Prince William stormed off after row with Diana the United for Wildlife Group, which he founded with retired footballer David Beckham, used the hashtag number Wositeriaun to use the power of sport and social media to tackle illegal hunting. His visit to Switzerland comes amid a week of trouble for the royal family. His grandfather, Prince Philip, was involved in a shock car crash that saw the 97-year-old's Land Rover flip on its side near the Queen's Sandringham estate in Norfolk. The Ford Ka also involved had two women and a nine-month-old baby inside. Emma Fairweather broke her wrist as a result of the crash. The Queen has since wished her well, but Ms. Fairweather criticized the Duke of Edinburgh for not apologizing after the incident. Royal Row, how Kate Middleton fumed over William's amorous advances Davos 2019 live, Prince William joins elites at WEF Norfolk Police are investigating, and the Duke was said to have passed a breath test at the scene of the collision. Though 48 hours after the crash, he was photographed leaving Sandringham in a brand new luxury car and not wearing a seatbelt. This prompted officers to make contact with him a second time.